And Zara here. Hi, Ayla here. Our schools are closed for summer vacation, and today we're making something new to add to our outdoor fun. It's solar cooker. You can use it to make s'mores. So you need a cardboard box, a cardboard box, and you can use any type of box. But today we're just going to be using this、uh, shoe box that we found. But you can use any type of box. Next step is to get a black paper, thick paper, and glue it to the bottom of the box. Make sure to cover the bottom of the box completely. This is how the box looks. Do you know why we need you need the black paper? It's interesting to know that black paper, that black color absorbs heat, and it helps to keep the inside of our solar cooker warm. Next step is to insulate the inside of our solar cooker. We use thermo coal for insulation. Another name is styrofoam. If you don't have styrofoam, don't worry. You can use thick paper or newspaper. Insulation helps to trap the heat inside of the box. You need a ruler and a pencil or a color pencil to mark the measurements. First, you need to measure the sides of the box. Next, mark the measurements on the thermocol. Make sure your measurements are correct. If not, your insulation won't work properly. It's challenging. The ruler is moving. My brother helps me to draw it. Once the marking is done, cut along the edges. Repeat the same step and cut out four pieces of thermocol. Ask for an adult's help if needed. For the second side, I don't need a measure. I can use. The already cut out piece and trace it. The box is a rectangular shape, and it has two pairs of equal sides. Try cutting now. Here you go. It looks so easy when you did it. Hmm, it's tough. I need help. The next step is to put thermocol on all four sides of the box, and we're just gonna put the pieces we cut out.
the next thing you need is aluminum foil. You can easily find it in your kitchen cabinet. After we put the, the thermal coal in, we're going to put the aluminum foil. Cut a piece which is slightly bigger than the top cover of the box. Make sure you secure it tight. The aluminum foil acts as, as the light reflector for, this, for the solar cooker. We're just adding a marshmallow in the solar cooker. Place in the marshmallow in the solar cooker. Another option is to make s'more. Yum! The final thing you need is a plastic wrapper. We got this also from, a, from the kitchen cabinet. Cut a piece big enough to cover the box. Um, I'm tightly securing this with Stello tape. This is one of the most important step. If you don't secure tightly, the heat will escape from the solar cooker. Here is our solar cooker. It is all tightly secure and a marshmallow inside the bowel. We are ready to test this solar cooker. Kept the solar cooker in the deck. Keep it in a place where you can get sunlight. You can also use a pencil or a skewer to keep the top of the solar cooker in place. I We kept it outside almost an hour. I can't wait to eat the yummy treat. It looks so fluffy. You can between these two marshmallows. One, we kept in the solar cooker, and the other not. And this one's way fluffier than a new one. Yes, it's actually so fluffy. Mm -hmm. the, sun, the science behind the fun. The sun's light carries lots of energy. Although the sun's light rays can easily travel through the plastic on your marshmallow oven, the heat energy carried by the rays is trapped inside the solar cooker. And when shiny foil reflects sunlight into the box, dark paper helps to absorb the light, keeping the heat inside the box. My sister, see, she to be enjoying the treat we made using the solar cooker. So this is an easy fun experiment to do and uh, you should try it at home and and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and bye friends